1984 had been quite a year for Julie Walters. She was nominated for an Academy Award for her first screen performance in Educating Rita, and as a result, she and her Midlands accent became a popular favourite on American chat shows. But all that, the glittering tinsel of showbiz, was a long way off when last we saw her in the Lake District, where she was making her second feature film, She'll Be Wearing Pink Pyjamas. The story, written by Eva Hardy and directed by John Goldschmidt, tells of the adventures and developing relationships of eight women on an outward bound course. It also called for a certain amount of physical courage. Bearing in mind that after her Oscar nomination, Julie Walters could have chosen a variety of films, including a co-starring role with Burt Reynolds, I wondered why she'd picked this one. Most of the stuff I got came from America. And, um, well, it wasn't a girl's cup of tea, really. And it was all very similar and all demanding the same kind of thing. But this was, it was just very unusual. about a group of women on a mountain adventure course. And it's about, you know, it's eight women and how they relate to one another and why they're there and what they've escaped from. There is a place that does this course, uh, which is based on all the, all the locations that exist in this very valley in Eskdale. And the, the lady that wrote the script, who was a journalist, went on this real course and has written the script based on her experiences. Now, what we've got are a group of actresses, like any group of amateurs, going through all those experiences. Yeah, it's going to help you. We're trying to make a film here, actually. Do you mind? You know what I mean? We're just trying to do the acting, you know what I mean? So could you just keep a low profile? When I read the description of it, I found it rather chilling, really, because it sounded like a description of me. <laughs> so trouble people start asking you to be yourself eventually. But um, she's uh, extremely extrovert, very crude. Of course, that's not like me. She likes a drink and a laugh. And, um, uh, but basically, she's sort of quite a lonely person inside. And what happens is, uh, as the film unfolds, so do all the characters. And with her, you get all the, the inner problems coming out, you know. Ready? Do it. Turn over. Ready? take one. And here we go, and action. I thought, oh, God, I'm really unfit. And I started to feel unsure of myself physically. I never was as a kid. I was always terribly sporty, you know, and all that kind of thing. But then when we came to do this, I thought, oh, no, you know, like I'm 34, you know. <laughs> I'm not a sort of spring chicken anymore. And I've got to do all these things. I mean, but we had a wonderful instructor who came to sort of supervise things, who was just brilliant at giving people confidence. And um, so he started off, and when, once you got the confidence and you started to do the things, it was wonderful, it just it made, me think that it's, it made me think, well, you know, it's still all there, all of that, you know, I still feel confident and, you know, in, in your body, I can't explain it, but physical confidence. It's nice to know you've got that, because it kind of bleeds into other areas of your life, you know, like the other sort of confidence, you know what I mean? You must use your feet. Oh, I'm, right. I'm, I'm clear, Claudius. I'm right here, aren't I? But how far are you going here? I, I might be no Heels into the this. snow. Don't you I'm going to go there first. Not too much. <laughs> they won't move. You've got your feet as brakes, if necessary. And here we go, and action. <laughs> <laughs> We actually did a week's technical training at the Sobel Centre in London, and then we did a week's preparatory work on all the real locations before we started filming. But they climbed up the rock face, they jumped off a bridge, they did the parachute jump and the rope course. The only thing where we cheated is we flew by helicopter to the top of this mountain because of getting the unit up here. You've been stuck on rock faces and out on the estuary, you know, in canoes and soaking wet and all of that. A lot of it is, as we call, N-A-R, you know, no acting required. But, well, the physical stuff it is. Yeah, it's a mixture of both, I suppose. You use what comes naturally. Climb every mountain. The kind of spirit was developed by doing everything themselves with us which is the spirit which is in the script. But obviously, when people are doing it for a job or not, out of, uh, not because they volunteered, um, I was really surprised uh, that they actually created the same spirit um, that is supposed to exist in the story. That's been the best bit of it, the group. It's been wonderful. I feel like 
I don't know, tremendous closeness, because we did all these things together, you know. And, um, and tremendous support from one another. We're all very supportive. We're called the Back Eye. You know, we're forming a group. And, um, yeah, I, want to, I want to, don't want to lose touch with people, you know. I mean, I know you often feel that on films, but never as much as on this. Climb every mountain for every stream Follow every rainbow Till you find your dream <laughs> She'll be wearing pink pyjamas, will be released next February.